Are you struggling with candle labels and you don't want to pay somebody to do it for you? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get around that. My name is Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcraft. In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to make your own labels in Canva.com and then print using Avery and Avery labels. So the labels I'm using today are just a basic two by four uh, white label from Avery. You can pick these up from Amazon. Uh, I get these at Office Depot and I mentioned in another video you can get these buy two get one free so, so definitely look out for the sales that they have on these. I've been using these labels for years now. All right so let's go ahead and jump into Canva and I'm going to show you exactly what to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up, I'm already here, canva.com and you can see when you go to the main menu here there's a lot of stuff to choose from. You can go through obviously you can see down here that I do all my YouTube thumbnails with this. Um, you can also go into various templates. So if you know you want to do just a basic label, come over here, we'll click on labels. And if you wanted to use just one of their basic templates, it's very easy. You go through, you can click on one of these and then you can start to add text wherever you want it. And then you can delete stuff, add stuff in. I mean, there's a lot you can do with Canva with their basic templates. Uh, but if you don't want to use one of their templates, let's go back here and I'm going to show you how to make one from scratch. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up to create a design. And inside here, again, you can go through, you can choose from their pre-designed or predetermined uh, dimensions. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to custom dimension. And I mentioned before, we're using the Avery 8163, which is a four inch wide by two inch high. And you're gonna to wanna to change this to inches, because if you make it in pixels, I, th I think a lot of people uh, get in trouble doing that one. So if you're in pixels, that's gonna be really small. So obviously, so of course, take that over to inches. And then, and then we're going to go ahead and click on create new design. And inside here, it just gives you a basic white canvas. And then you can go through and you can still go to a lot of their templates. Uh, you can go through, add stuff, take it away if you don't want it. But we're going to start completely white. And then we're going to, for this one, I'm going to go over to uploads. And you can see I've already got a, picture, a bunch of pictures in here that I've used for previous thumbnails, labels. And we're gonna go ahead and upload an image from device, which means you're gonna upload it from your computer. And I'm just gonna go through and I'm gonna grab this Stanley that I've made. And you just click on the picture, it'll automatically throw it. Uh, you can see when you get it centered, it'll give you these purple lines so that you know you're perfectly centered. But we're gonna go ahead and move that up just because we don't need Stanley to be the main focus of the label. With this one, we're gonna go through and we're gonna do just basic text. You can see over here on the left side, there's a bunch of fonts that you can put in there. Uh, if you find one that you like, definitely just click on it. And then of course you can alter the text and then we're going to go ahead and move that down and actually you know what I'm going to go ahead and leave that one now this label is not going to look pretty but I wanted to show a bunch of different colors in this one so we're going to go ahead and leave this we're going to make that a little bit bigger and we're going to go ahead and center that and then we're going to go ahead we're gonna come over here, go to elements, and then we're just gonna grab just a basic line, go down to shapes, see all. And I'm gonna grab this one here. And you can see these little notches on the side. That means you can grab it and move it anywhere you want within the label. And like I said, I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this one. I just wanted to show everyone the basics of how to get in there and start to create your own labels. And 
And then we're gonna grab another one. We're gonna grab this right here and we're gonna take that all the way down so it's just a line. And actually there's a better method to do this. If you go up to the search bar, we're just gonna type in line. And that'll throw a little bit thinner line in there. Go ahead and stretch that out a little bit. And then if you wanna change the color of any of these things in here, go ahead and click on the object and you'll come up to the top left, click on color. And then we're gonna go ahead and alter that a little bit. Try to match that purple that's in the lavender just a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna copy that. If you come over to the top right, you can hit duplicate. It'll add another one there. We're gonna center that with the other one. And then I'm just gonna move that. Above that. And you can see right here that it went over the top of the Stanley. And I actually want the Stanley to go over the top of that one. So if you go back up Click on that, you can do position, bring it to the front, and it'll pop it right over that line. And then we're gonna go back to text, and we're just gonna do a basic heading, which is gonna throw that in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the city. We'll change that font size a little bit. And we're gonna change the color on that one to match. The color that's in the lavender. We're gonna go ahead and grab another set of text and we're gonna do Go ahead and label that 16 out so I candle. Now, of course, you can put anything on your labels that you want to. And we're gonna go ahead and change the font color of that one. We'll change that one to pink just so that we can get a bunch of different colors on this label. And then we're gonna go ahead and leave that one. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna go into, in, into real big detail on uh, creating a nice label here. Just wanted to show Canva everything that it could do. And then of course, if you wanted to add different things like pictures, you can definitely do that. So if you had something that you wanted to add and then click on position, send that all the way to the back and that'll go behind everything. So depending on the label that you're doing, you can really come up with a lot of cool stuff here. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one. And we're gonna download two different styles of this one, one with the background and one without the background, just so that we can see what it looks like on the label. And then when you download this, you're gonna wanna do uh, PNG, which is a, uh, a good high quality image. Choose that. And then of course the size, you want to make sure that you're up pretty good size. Like this one right here, you can see it's 1200 by 600 pixels, which is really big. That way when you go over to Avery and you upload the image, you're not going to get it all pixelated. So we're going to go ahead and hit download. And it's going to throw it into the download folder. And we're going to delete that and I'm going to download it one more time. without the picture. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and jump over to Avery. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and include a link to both of these websites in the video description. And what you wanna do is we're working with the Avery label number 8163. So we're gonna type that in. It instantly comes up with the sheet. Select that. And then over here, we're just gonna choose the basic select this design in landscape, not portrait. And then once you're inside here, we're gonna import those images that we just saved. So you go over here, add image, and we're gonna browse file on the computer. And this one will usually come into Avery a little smaller than it should be, and then you'll have to adjust the size. And there's a couple different ways to do this. So you can grab these little corners and you can drag it out until it fits. or you can click on the image itself and then come over here. We know it's four inches, so we're just gonna hit four. It automatically throws it in there, four by two, and then we're gonna go up to the top where it says align, and we're gonna center it on the template. And we're gonna go ahead and print a couple of these. And then if you come over to the side, if you wanted to have a bunch of different labels inside that sheet. You can see that there's 10 over here. We're gonna go ahead and edit one, and we're gonna go through and we're gonna delete a couple of these. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the other label that we did. So add image, browse for file, go ahead and click on that other one come over to the left side, type in four, and just hit tab, and it'll automatically change it to two by four. Align that, center it on the template. And then if you click on the image and you hit copy, you can come over to the side again and just paste that right into each of these. So if you, yeah, just right click inside the label click paste and it'll go ahead and throw it in there. Uh, we're not gonna print a bunch of these just cause it'd be a waste of ink. And then when you're done with that one, you're gonna go down to re preview and print. Uh, it's gonna warn you that you're over uh, the sides. This isn't a, something you need to be worried about. This is edit project. If we go back into these, you can see in the corners here, it's overlapping just a little bit and it's not staying within the dotted lines, that's all it's warning you about. So we're gonna go ahead and continue anyway. It'll give you kind of a print preview, and then we're gonna go to print it yourself, get PDF to print. You can save it if you want to. If it's a set of labels that you're gonna print over and over, just hit save and you can save it to the computer. We're not gonna save this one, so I'm gonna hit don't save and then open PDF or download PDF. You can do either one. If you just wanna open the PDF, it'll open it up inside the browser. And then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go ahead and print this. Make sure you choose your printer. And one thing that you'll wanna be careful of is some printers you may have to say, you may have to say uh, print actual size or size to fit fit to paper or custom or default. We're gonna go ahead and leave, leave this default because most of the time when I print labels from Avery, it's just on default. You may have to do some test prints on your own printer. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit print. All right, we'll see what this background looks like on the label. All right, that actually came out pretty good. Let's see if I can. So that actually wasn't too bad at all. Everything is right inside. You can see the corner of the label right there. Let me go ahead and peel one of these off. This is why you want to make those a little bit bigger than the edges. And that's what it was warning us against was that we had some bleed or some edges that weren't really gonna come through. So you just make that image just a little bit bigger inside Avery and it's gonna go ahead and print around the edges on that one. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. I hope that was informative. Uh, if I glossed over something or missed something, please let me know in the video description or the comments down below. I'll try to go through and update it and reply to the comments that are down there. And of course, if you'd like to see another video going a little bit further into labels with Canva or Avery or anything else, please let me know in the comments down below. And I'll try to go through and make an updated video that includes all that stuff in it. And I have links in the video description down below if you want to follow me on any of the social media platforms that I'm on, Instagram, Facebook, my website, my email address, if you want to reach out is also in the video description. And of course, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.